Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Okay, everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, this is part three of a um, Arduino um, motor control circuit uh, and software that we've been um, presenting here. Uh, so this one has the added, what we're gonna, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a, um, a sensor, a, a temperature switch. In our previous videos, we showed uh, the difference between modules and uh, computers, like an ECM. A module is a computer that uh, tends to control uh, one or two inputs, or, or, or I should say one or two components. Uh, it may have a couple of inputs, it may have one or two or three, but very few outputs, as opposed to, for example, a TCM, uh, a transmission control module or an engine control module. In this video, we're going to use the an Arduino module board, um, and we uh, since this is almost a computer, pretty much it, it has multiple inputs, multiple outputs. But th in this particular case, we're just going to use one, and we're going to we're going to try it's control a a motor, a small motor, which represents. Uh, a radiator fan. It could be a, a, a blower motor for the uh, for the air conditioning and so on and so forth. So we're gonna just gonna use a motor, a small motor, as a representation of the uh, component that we are going to co uh, to control. We're also gonna use the driver 100 uh, module that we manufacture. Uh, this is gonna be attached to the uh, to the Arduino board. Uh, so the driver 100 uh, is pretty much an output transistor, which can uh, it can take a lot of uh, current. So pretty much the Arduino board by itself can do that. It's just the brains, pretty much. So we're going to use the driver 100 to be able to control the actual uh, radiator fan uh, motor, uh, which is represented here by a small motor. A quick gl a glance at the wiring diagram, uh, we can see the... Um, uh, the driver 100 board attached to pin number 13 and ground. Uh, this the the green uh, lead is the one that that actually controls the output transistor. Uh, the driver 100 board it's con um, that is th th that module is control uh, it's uh, connected to the fan and that's the one that's going to control the motor uh, directly. Um, so um, and then you also have pin number two. If you look at it, th that's a temperature switch which is connected. Uh, to uh, pin number two and ground. So pretty much we're going to use a switch, a toggle switch here to represent the actual uh, temperature switch. Temperature switches are two lead components and it, they're, they're connected exactly as you can see here. You know, w w one leg, uh, one terminal, one pin is connected to ground and the other one is connected to the, to the input uh, of, of whatever module uh, it is that you are. In this particular case, we're using the, uh, uh, an Arduino board uh, but it's pretty much if it's an automotive uh, um, uh, um, module, it's it, it'll be connected to whichever module it's it's connected to. I mean, th this thing could be could control pretty much anything, and it is widely used on on in automotive uh, applications. So here on screen, we can actually sh uh, see the setup uh, with the Arduino, the driver 100 board, and everything connected together. It's a very simple connection. Uh, and it, what we're going to do is we're going to toggle this, this switch on and off and it's just going to turn the motor on and off. Um, in, o in other videos, we're going to show you how to, do, uh, how to do this in a different way and so that um, we are going to connect a temperature sensor, not a temperature switch. So it's not going to be an on and off sensor. It's going to be a switch. And as the temperature, as the temperature uh, increases or decreases, it's going to increase the PWM uh, for the for the fan, which is exactly what computers do these days, and then it's going to be it's going to regulate the, the the speed of the fan motor to be able to blow more or less air as needed. This we're going to see in in future videos. The idea behind uh, this video series is just to show you the actual software, how it's it's done, uh, it's actually how it actually controls um, all these components. Now here on screen we are going to analyze the uh, the software uh, 
which is the one that's doing all the controlling through the board, through the Arduino board and the driver 100. Uh, again, as we've said before, um, all um, Arduino software, you know, it's, it's the same whether you go with an Arduino, whether you go into the software for, for an actual ECM or a module. Uh, it's actually composed of two parts, the setup part and the loop part, pretty much. So um, as you can see, this next diagram we can see uh, in red, um, it's the, the actual setup part and it actually sets up uh, all these pins. In this particular case, pin number two, it's set as an input and this is uh, with a pull-up, meaning that th this, this one connects to ground and that's what it, when it does whatever it has to do. So it's a pull-up uh, pin, pin number two, and pin number 13 is, it, is an output, pretty much. Uh, now, it w th I mean, we are the ones that are actually doing this. It's not that, it's just we, in software you do that and you, do, you can do whatever you want. Later on in the loop part, which is the one that keeps repeating itself, uh, we, um, as you can see, uh, sensor va uh, va VAR, VAR, that's, uh, that start, uh, starts, um, it stands for variable. So the sensor variable is, is the one that's going to be used to turn the fan on and off. That's the one that's going to be compared uh, uh, further down where it says code. Um, we put a little, little, little loop bracket in there so that, and it says if sensor value is, uh, is high, um, then um, turn the fan on, high, or low. And this, we're, to, we're, lo we're looking at pin number 13, okay? So if sensor of value is high, okay, turn it low, okay. If sensor or else, okay, um, turn pin number thirteen high. And th this is how this is the output of, of pin number thirteen, which is actually seen by the driver one hundred, and that's uh, that's what happens. It turns the, uh, uh, the 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 motor on or off. Uh, and everything happens here in code in this particular little code here you know it does pretty much everything and this is exactly the same uh, software that controls the uh, uh, automotive temperature uh, uh, sensor and fans and whether it's that or uh, the fuel pump th these days the fuel pump is not on and off it's, uh, they're controlled by um, a P by PWM uh, output we're going to do PWMs later on in another video but this is just an on and off uh, deal so pretty much and it's also the blower motor for example for the air, air conditioning it's, it's turned on like this on and off the uh, air conditioning compressor is on and off like this uh, almost a lot of lots of components are turned on and off using this exact uh, scheme you know on, in, in software so uh, again but we're just showing you a, a an example of how this this is done in 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 regular automotive uh, um, manufacturing and as always we appreciate you guys uh, watching our videos and learning and um, again, thank you. Thanks again for watching. Thank you. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.